Oh, thank you. Gold. And look Beautiful. at you in the UFC I know. fit. Finally. What do, you, what do you think? It suits you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Kayla Harrison, your first UFC win and your UFC debut. Was it everything you hoped the experience would be? Yeah, it was amazing. It was really awesome. This whole week really has been a dream. Um, and it's been, I'm just really grateful. I'm really grateful for where I am in my life and the people that are with me on this journey. Um, it almost went too fast. <laughs> I'm like, oh, it's over already. Put me back in there. Because yeah. we usually say to people, no matter what they've done, when you come into UFC, it's a different machine. Mm. The nerves are different. Mm. But you're a two-time Olympic <laughs> champion. The nerves, are, you get to do that once every four years. The yeah. nerves don't. But how did those nerves compare? It is being, Olympics is really different. Like you said, it's once every four years. So that pressure is, and I was so young. So it's a different kind of pressure. But this is its own beast. And it's really magical in there and it's really um, electric <laughs> and the fans I love I loved it I loved every minute of it I'm I'm really I'm on cloud nine right now oh, you can absolutely tell and obviously your first dance partner being the former champion yeah. in Holly home now I was saying to people I don't think Kayla will try and play Holly at her game you know it's mm. her UFC debut mm. and the head kick mm. uh, <laughs> comes out first of all and then again in the second round before ultimately you took it to your wheelhouse but yeah. I think you're behind that um, yeah I mean listen we can't my coaches know that I expected her to run a lot more and use her footwork a lot more. She she stood her ground in the middle of the cage quite a bit. And I was kind of like, okay, what do I do? This wasn't what I was expecting. <laughs> um, but we did know that when she does get to the to the warning track, she tends to go, like, lean away a little bit. So I, we thought a head kick would be a good, good time to... To, it would be a good time to throw a head kick and you know I'm an MMA fighter now I'm not a judoka in the cage I'm a mixed martial artist so up she went <laughs> and then the takedown of course of course and of course I am referring to the head kick that knocked out Ronda Rousey the yeah. obviously the similarities people yeah. are referring to with yourself and Ronda Rousey but you ultimately got it done talk me through the finish and, and what's playing through your mind at that point you knew you had it uh I didn't I mean I haven't I haven't gotten a ton of um rear naked uh chokes so I was I didn't, you it's always one of those moments where you're like, do I squeeze? Do I give it all? Like, what if she doesn't tap? Do I burn my arms out? But I just really felt like, no, this is UFC 300, your debut. Like, leave it all out there. Let's go, baby. So. And then, of course, on the mic, you talked about whether it's Raquel Pennington, whether it ends up being Juliana Pena with the belt. That's who you want next. But I've got to ask you, we got a little clip from Amanda yeah, Nunes that she posted. Amazing. Yeah. Shama. Um, got her attention, you think? Yeah, I think I think the plan is working. <laughs> but in terms of whether she comes back or not, we don't know. But in terms of Raquel Pennington and Juliana Penny, what sort of stylistic matchups are they for you? Um, I mean, I don't I don't think they match up well against me. I don't think anybody in this division matches up well against me. I think that um, I'm an unstoppable force right now, and this is my time. Well, you've certainly got their attention. And of course, be remiss not to ask you about the weight cut. You've been asked about it yeah. all week. Hopefully for your next fight, there'll be no questions because you've proved yeah. it now. But now it's all said and done. Was it harder than you thought it would be or, or not so much? Um, different parts of it were harder than others. Like the last pound, you know, I will say that. The last pound, the last morning um, was really difficult. The, the initial cut, like the, the 12 weeks of dieting wasn't great, but I could handle it. The the when uh, Thursday of cutting weight wasn't too bad, but the last pound on Friday morning, um, that was pretty tough. And I gotta tell you guys the truth, like I, this was, I did not know if I could make 135 pounds or not. Um, I just really felt truly that like I prayed about it. You know, I told like I this is what I wanted. I wanted to be UFC champion, and I decided to to have faith and, and trust my God, trust my team, trust myself, and and, and go out on a limb here and. It paid off. I'm really grateful. I'm sure getting your hand raised made it all worthwhile. Kayla, congratulations. Your first win in the UFC. Many more to come, I'm sure. And it's great to see you and talk to you. Thank you so much, really.